Welcome Leo and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading for February 10th through the 16th. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Um, Leo, it looks like you're starting off the read with the Emperor and the Empress moving forward. So this is definitely a twin flame situation, uh, but looks like somebody's taking charge in a new beginning to move forward. Stick around. Let's see where this goes. Hey guys, welcome to Quartz Rose Tarot. Uh, please keep in mind that all readings are general readings and they will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's not your story. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is listed in the description box below. You can also reach me at quartzrosetarot at gmail.com and visit my website at quartzrosetarot.com. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let's get into this. Let's see where it goes. Leo, I don't think I have ever had the Emperor and the Empress come out simultaneously right next to one another. So you have the Emperor, somebody who's older, uh, stuck in their ways, taking charge, somebody taking charge here. And you have the Empress right underneath them. So this is definitely the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine here. This is about a new beginning here. Looks like you're moving forward very quickly with the chariot card. This is cancer. Could be on the cusp of cancer possibly. Um, but you have one, two, three, four, five major arcanas right out of the gate. Somebody has had an awakening here, possibly this emperor. Um, this is going in within, shedding some light on something. He's going to be communicating that back and forth. A lot of communication here. He's found balance. The angels are helping you. You got the temperance card next to the emperor. So a new beginning, having balance, but definitely getting uh, divinely guided here. Divine timing is at hand. 2020 is the year of the twin. So having equal give and take in a situation, you have the six of pentacles. Moving forward to this equal give and take. Now, if you're a twin, you know you've already been through hell and back. And now you're going to be reuniting and coming together, uh, as most other twins do. There's a lot of communication about this awakening that this emperor has had. and But uh, this empress is trying to find balance, be, but she's very guarded. She's very guarded and defensive because she's probably been through the ringer already about this relationship. You know, she wants to make sure that this emperor is going to do what he's supposed to do. You know, um, if you're if you're a twin, you're probably a light worker. You're both ready, you know, here to help raise the vibration. Um, but this person's guarded because she's gone through a lot. She's going to communicate this. There's going to be a, a, a some a lot of back and forth communication between these two people about this situation. This is about tradition. This is about a relationship. This person's very guarded about. The Empress is guarded about it. Now, you guys could be at a distance from one another. You have the Three of Wands here, uh, but this is also about waiting, uh, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting to communicate. It, you know, it looks like they're waiting to communicate about, about love. Love is in the middle of your read, dead center of your read, the Ace of Cups. So guarded about love. This, this Empress is guarded about love. Um, this Emperor is waiting to communicate about this uh, a new beginning in love. Um, somebody is either missing someone or having regret about something here. So they're waiting to communicate because there's some possibly regretting about a re regret in a relationship, possibly about a third party because it caused a burden here. So you have the three of cups. This could be about celebration. This could be about reconciliation. It also could be about a third party. Now you have two, three sitting next to each other. So I'm assuming this is about a third party situation that somebody regretted. This king's probably regretting this because it's in his row. Okay. Um, that he may have put, he may have put his empress, he may have ghosted her in the past. They, he may have left her out in the cold in love. That's what I'm getting. But it looks like they're also getting justice here. You have the, the, the scales, you know, they're balanced now. They're balanced. You've got balance here with the temperance card. So the scales are balanced. It may be that the uh, 
they're regretting the third party and that third party is now out in the cold, you know, uh, because you got justice here. So that, that third party is out in the cold in love. So out of, out of, out of the cold, out in the cold for love. And it has to do with this third party situation, something that caused a lot of burden. You have the 10 of wands here, but you have somebody making a decision about them be, putting somebody out in the cold. Somebody was at a crossroads making that decision. But this is the will of fortune. This is about fate. You know, this is about divine timing here with this king and the queen. I'm sorry, the emperor and the empress. This is fated. So this is, this is divine timing for the justice, divine timing and justice. So, you know, karmic cycle, cycle may have ended. He may have ended a karmic cycle because, you know, now the third party is out in the cold. You're going to have a new solid, stable beginning. You know, that burden is looking right at this three of pentacles. I'm sorry, the three of cups, that burden, whatever the burden was, was that was that third party situation, somebody interfering in this relationship. So there's going to be, you know, a message of love. For this empress, there's a message of love here. And um, you have the Ten of Pentacles about a long-term relationship, about having all the abundance you could possibly need. Definitely a twin flame here. Under the bottom of the deck, you have somebody from your past, a past life soulmate, soulmate. You know, however it resonates, but this is a reconciliation as well for this emperor and the emperor somebody has the star you know this is about hope for success this is aquarius with a star so hoping about this uh hoping this reconciliation will take that leap of faith here with the full card now looks like he's had the awakening like i was saying he's going to communicate all about this uh but he was he was waiting it may have taken him a long time to get here for this leap of faith and victory. Somebody wanted to be seen head and shoulders above the rest. Somebody wanted to, um, you know, I'm not getting ego. I'm, I'm getting that this is about victory because we have the 10 of cups here, a victory in this happy wife, happy life, overcoming obstacles with the seven of wands, having that wish fulfillment, having that wish fulfillment with your, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. So, Leo, I'm going to take this to the extended. Um, I'll read you on this side. I'll read your person on this side. You can flip it, switch it, twist it, however it resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate, it's not your story. Don't try to make it fit. Um, I will also be doing a Celtic spread, and, and, uh, and I'll be clarifying that. I'm using the, uh, the Everyday Witch, the Rider Weight. Um, I'll also be throwing some cards of the Art of Allowing cards and also using the Romance Angels. I'll see you over in Vimeo. Thank you for stopping by. I hope everybody has a wonderful Valentine's Day. And don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe.